Aren't they beautiful? Well, good morning, ladies. How's everybody doing? You want some treats? Well, hello from the cottage farmstead. I'm out here with our flock of chickens. And as you can see, they are looking beautiful right now, but it's almost September, so we know in a few weeks they are going to start molting on us, which means they're going to stop laying eggs. Uh, what they're going to be doing when they molt is they're going to be losing a majority of their feathers. There's hard molts and soft molts. Most of my hens usually have a softer molt, but we're still going to have feathers everywhere. And when they're regrowing their feathers, they don't lay eggs. Rearing feathers requires a lot of protein. So we have the protein in their feed, but since they're using so much protein to grow their feathers, they just don't lay eggs for us. Which is inconvenient because that falls right about the time Thanksgiving and the holidays arrive. So when we want a lot of eggs for all of our baking, we just don't have as many. But I'm trying a preservation method that I've been meaning to try for several years is just freezing scrambled eggs that I can use in the future. So I'll take you along into the kitchen and show you how I'm preserving some eggs for that holiday baking. What you doing up there? Huh? You're our new buddy, aren't you? Nathan's been taming this one. So preserving eggs by freezing them is a method um, that I've considered trying several years in a row because we always end up at the holidays without eggs and we're having to buy them from another local farm that has some younger hens that are laying through the winter. Um, we've gotten lucky a few years having one or two hens that lay into December. They kind of keep us in eggs, but we're not able to share. So preserving eggs with this method is something that I've just been meaning to do for several years and just haven't. Uh, most of the time it's just time gets away from me and all of a sudden, you know, half the flock has lost all their feathers and it's too late at that point. They've already stopped laying. So this year I put it on my calendar that I needed to do it in August and granted we only have about three days left in August, but I'm going to get it done. Our ladies have started laying a lot more lately. The hottest heat of the summer has dissipated just a little bit. So some of our older hens that usually take a break during the heat of the summer have picked up again. So we're getting about a half dozen eggs a day. So I'm gonna freeze at least a dozen today. So we'll have a couple dozen in the freezer for all that holiday baking. Aren't they beautiful? We love having rainbow colored eggs. Mostly it's just the shell that's different. So if you have all brown eggs, all white eggs, doesn't matter but we just love enjoy the variety. Like these black copper morons lay these beautiful dark, I mean, she's even got some chocolatey colors right here on her eggs. We also have an uh, olive egger that lays these beautiful dark green eggs. We have some leg bars that lay these kind of creamy minty colors. Easter eggers that lay us some really light blues. Then we have different shades of brown from I think our Orpington, our Speckled Sussex, and our Barnevelder. So beautiful colors on the outside. The inside, it's all the same but we just enjoy having a very colorful rainbow basket. So according to the internet and some of the podcasts I've listened to recently is you want to really well scramble the eggs before you freeze them because the yolks and whites freeze differently and you can end up with just really rubbery, gross eggs if you don't mix them in. These are not gonna be eggs that we're gonna be frying up and eating for breakfast. These are just gonna be for baking. So scrambling doesn't matter because we're already gonna mix it into a baked good anyways. I've heard some people putting salt in there, but I think I'm gonna skip that step as I don't wanna affect the recipes that I do in the future. So I'm just gonna purely scramble them and add them in to the freezing container. Well, you can hear the ladies are busy laying eggs this morning, so I'm glad I'm serving a dozen because we'll have more by this afternoon.
So we have different sizes of eggs. So we have some that lay the closer to jumbo. We have some that are much smaller. The pullet eggs are a little smaller. So we have a wide range of them, but I've started noticing a pattern that pretty much an entire muffin tin is one large egg. So instead of scrambling a whole bunch of them individually, I'm going to finish the rest of them by just scrambling them all at once and then filling each muffin tin evenly. see if I can pour this evenly. Uh-oh. I might have to steal from some of these taller ones to make that one more like a whole egg. And that's more like it. In case you're wondering what I was doing with all the eggshells throughout the whole process is I have my compost bin that we have here on our counter at all times. And I was just crushing them up as I went and throwing them in here and we feed them back to the chickens. It's a great source of calcium for them. The reason we crush them is we don't want them to think that, oh, when I lay an egg, I can eat my own egg. Because we've had issues with egg eaters in the past and it's just no fun to clean up a gross mess in a nesting box. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to freeze scrambled eggs with me in the Cottage Farmstead kitchen this morning. We'll be leaving them in the freezer for a little bit longer. I'll get a quick shot of what they look like when they pop out and we'll insert it in here. I'll also link below to a blog post we wrote on how to care for your molting hens. So if you have a laying flock and you wanna help them through the season, um, we have five tips from messing with their feed, making sure you don't touch them, that sort of thing, so that you can take care of your backyard flock so they can continue laying you delicious eggs for many years to come. Catch you next time.